Hey Korth, what's up man? I figured that a video would be better than a bunch of pictures and words. So I don't know like if you were having any trouble or any success like uh, lacing your motor into the hub. In case you're having any problems, I'd, I don't know, I figured I'd just make this. Uh, anyways, <laughs> sorry, it's kind of like, it's kind of weird like making a video that I know someone else is going to watch. This is, I've never actually done this before, but um. Okay, so this is how you, how I, it, well, Monica first, and then I took the motor, this one, yeah, that one, took that out of the one that me and Monica made, and I put it back in the old bike, but with some new batteries, those there, those are the ones that, that we ordered that were on the old one, but we put them on the frame, it's a lot better, but, okay, so this is what you do, so... You start with a spot that you know, uh, so like, let's see, I started with the P on the side of the motor, you know, start with a place on the motor that you know, you know, whenever you come back around to it, you know that you're there. And then just start with, you know, either or, like inside or outside, so go, go inside this hole and then out, and then in, inside this way, and then out and in and out and in see it's just the same thing over and over just like lacing a shoe and so you do that all the way around the motor just in out in out it's the same pattern and you do it on the other side too but what you want to do is start it off so like this one here, you know, right next on this spot on the motor, I've got it coming, you know, outside from inside the motor. You want to do the same thing. Uh, well, this one's going inside. Just the next hole over on the other side to the left. Do do the opposite. So if this one's coming inside out, that one on the other side should be going outside in. Okay, and then once you have that that first spoke on the other side of the motor, just do the same thing in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, and then once you have that done, you're going to have all of these loose spokes all over attached to the motor. And so the next thing that you want to do is these the way that these things are all set up it's the same thing over and there's different lacing patterns and this is just the one that I did. So if you look at it, the, the, the spoke right next to this one, the right one is always going to overlap the left one. And so the right one overlaps this one here, the right one overlaps this one here, etc. All the way across. And it's going to be the same thing on the other side too. But the right one's going to go over the left spoke, but they're going to come up and then there, there's going to be a gap. There's going to be a space between, so looking at this thing here, there's two spokes here, side by side, and then the right one's going to overlap the left, but whenever they come up, there's going to be a gap between them, just leave that gap. And do the same thing again here, right one over the left, leave that gap, and just keep doing that on one side and then the other. And you're going to need a spoke wrench, it's this guy. So, once you get all of these things on there, you know, and, and you screw them in on the inside with like a, I don't know, most of the time it's a flathead screwdriver. What you're going to want to do next, and this is what Monica missed, like she couldn't, uh, or me and her couldn't at the time figure out how to balance a wheel. So this is, this is a tricky part, but it actually isn't that hard if you got a little bit of patience. So what you want to do is once you have everything, all the the spokes laced in and and you know the motors connected, what you want to do is spin the wheel and look at look at how the wheel, you know, if it wobbles or whatever. So let's say it wobbles to the left this way. So what I'm going to want to do is find a place, let's say like the, the wheel's really bent to the left here. I'm going to want to tighten it to the right. So I'm going to take this spoke, or one of the spokes that are on the right. So let's say, you know, on, it's going to be wobbling on the left here. So I'm going to find the spoke that's on the right side, which would be here. 
and then I would tighten that one with a spoke wrench. And I would tighten all the ones that are on the right side of the motor if it's wobbling to the left. If, it's, if the, the hub or the, the wheel is bending to the right, so let's say now here, after you tighten all those things up with your spoke wrench, if the wheel is now bending to the right a little bit on one side, you just find the spokes at that location that are on the left side of the motor and you just tighten those, those uh, these little spoke nipple things here with the spoke wrench. And you just do that over and over, same thing, same thing, same thing. If it's left, tighten right. If it's wobbling right, tighten left. And eventually, it'll, it, every spoke should be, or you're going to want to tighten every spoke down, and you're, it eventually will be pretty much straight. And a lot of people do this with machines, and it's a lot more accurate that way, but you can totally do it by hand. It's no big deal. I've been driving this one for a while, and I, I did it by hand, so no big deal. So um, if you have any questions, just call or text me or something and uh or email me and yeah good luck and i hope the electric bike project comes out well Bye.